So in this video, I'd like to discuss data structures. Now you may already know one, it's the array. That's a data structure. But there's uh, at least another data structure, or another two data structure that you need to know for our course, which is the dictionary or the hash table. So the arrays, we use numbers to index into their locations. However, the dictionary or the hash table, we don't use numbers, or well, we can, but it's a little bit more flexible. Now, there are differences between a dictionary and a hash table, but under the hood, in, in kind of the essence of it, they're both pretty much the same thing. But in different languages, they have certain advantages over each other. But they, they are under the hood the same thing. So let's, uh, let's go and explain what are them. We're using maybe uh, this. So here, let's assume that we had over here, you know, index, number, and this is our array of animals. So location zero has cat, location two has mouse, so forth and so on. And if we need to access a location, we go animals, animals, uh, location two, and that will give us a mouse. And if we want to replace it with something else, we can chuck in horse into where the mouse used to be. However, for a dictionary, a dictionary works a bit different. The index is not numbers. The index you can use pretty much words, booleans. You can pretty much use any data type as your index. Right now, I'm just using words or, or names as my index. So in location cat, I could give some values like meow. In the location dog, there's a wolf. In location mouse, there's a squeak. So the locations aren't numbers anymore in a dictionary. They can be words. I can use words to locate things now. So if I if I'm trying to search for gorilla, I just type in I just type in animal sounds because that's the, the dictionary's name, animal sounds, and and then access the location cat, and it will spit out meow for me, or any information associated with the cat. I don't have to use animal sounds, right? I'll just delete that one. I I could I could use a dictionary for um, number of number count number of right and there's two cats three dogs one mouse and three gorillas in this farm you know so now if i go and number of which is my my diction my dictionary's name number of over here and put in say gorilla this thing spits out four this thing spits out four this thing will spit out cat would be meow so Pretty much, think of it as a, like a like an array, but you don't use numbers to to index them. You use you can use anything to index them, really. And there's and there's reason there's there's reasons why this works because of the way this thing works. All right, so let me just show you a dictionary. I'll delete these. Don't need them. So let's create a dictionary. So we go dim, let's make the animals. And then animals as animals as dictionary. Dictionary of um, so so the index is the first one. The type the index type I'm gonna use is string. I'm gonna use the, the names cat dogs to to fight to to index my dictionary. And I'm gonna store meow and all that, and they're all string as well. Um, of uh, string equals new dictionary. You got to type it all over again, which is annoying. String, string. All right. Now what I could do is I could add. I can go animals dot add. So so dictionaries work like a list. You can add. Uh, I'm going to add cat and the cat value is meow so the my indexer is the cat word cat and the value that i get that i'm storing is meow remember cat is not necessary what i'm storing it is my index is my location All right uh, let's go um dog Ooh, whoa, dog wolf and cat animals animals and 
mouse. I'll just go squeak. Squeak. There we go. All right, now let me use one. I'm just going to message box out animals and in the location uh, dog. So I use my the word dog as my locator. Now it is case sensitive, so don't put the capital D. So I'm, this is my location. This is my indexer. My index is dog, and I should get wolf out. There you go, wolf. And pretty much, I could change my. I can. I can use. I can I can use different data types as my indexer and different data types as what I want to store. I don't have to store a string. I could store animal uh, number as dictionary. To be honest, I think you don't need this. You can just write it here, and it can deduce what type of what type it is. So you can kind of save some programming, some writing. So you don't you don't have to write this as here because if you write it on this side. It kind of knows that this is going to be this type anyway, and right now, right now, I want to I want to store st integers. So I use string for an index, but I use but I want to store integers. So for this one, animal num, I'll just make it shorter because I can't be bothered. Animal animals num dot add cat. I can have three cats in this uh, farm. Uh, dog I could have you know two th five dogs four dogs and animals num mouse um, it could be overran by mouse like you know that many mouse will probably die probably crazy if we're on okay all right so now what I can do now is I can print off animal nums animal num right dog and I should get the number four there you go so now I can use something else to index my my pretty much my dictionary I don't have to use numbers anymore which is not a, not good if you want to use a for loop because if you want to use a for loop to search for something it'll be a pain in the butt because you can't you know index zero one two three you know it doesn't index with numbers right so Really, this is just great for um, finding things quickly. Now, the cool thing about um, dictionaries is if you need to access and find these locations really fast, you don't need a, a, a linear search or a binary search. Really, it's kind of like an auto search. It's not even searching. You, you say mouse and it will jump straight to mouse and give you 21. You don't have to, in an array, search for mouse and then print off 21. You just go, I want mouse. It goes to mouse, gives you 21. It's that fast. So using a dictionary is very fast. The only issue is dictionaries take up quite a bit of memory because there's a lot of gaps in a dictionary. Why are there gaps? I really need to explain to you how a dictionary works. But before I do that, I want to show you that there is its, its counterpart. Um, the uh, I'm going to call it, uh, animal hash table equals new hash table. New hash table here. Um, so you can see here hash tables you can use here. Now we don't use hash tables in our course. You just need to know about them. But we we can create a hash table here. I personally don't use them. But um, a, a dictionary and a hash table under the hood are pretty much the same thing. They work the same way. Uh, in my text, let me see if I got my text up here. I do. I do discuss the difference between the hash table and the dictionary, but in the end, we're not going to be using the hash table at all. The dictionary is good enough because it's type safe. It's not thread safe, but at least it's type safe. And that's what we want. So let's just find hash. Hash tables are here. And I, I give you, a, oh, there's one dimensional arrays, there's records. Dictionaries over here, I explained it to you, and then here's the hash table. And I talk about the difference between the hash table and the dictionaries, even though they're pretty much very similar. So uh, one of the difference is um, the dictionaries are faster because there's not, uh, than the, the hash tables for particular reasons. 
Um, the dictionary gives you errors if, if you if you if you can't find things, which uh, which is kind of nice. However, the the hash tables are thread safe, meaning if you multi-thread on them, which is uh, you you would probably want to use the hash tables instead. But ultimately, we, we're not going to use the hash table. We're going to use the dictionary. Okay, so I won't show you the hash table because this is really all we need to use. All right. Um, what else? Let's have a look at what else the dictionary can do. Animals num dot and animals num animals num. Uh, so we got add animal num dot. Now here's an issue that I'm see seeing. I don't see all the functions I have. That's because I was lazy at the start. Notice over here, I didn't put this part. I re if I put this part, and I check the dot, I get all the stuff that I, I need, can use. So if you don't put this part in, oh, this is gonna be the same way. Um, just understand that you need to remember what it can do. I remember what it can do, so it doesn't crash. It can add, but if you don't put this part, you don't see it in the IntelliSense. So, so for, for you people, you put these in so the IntelliSense will help you. And I can do all kinds of stuff. I can search in there, I can find the max, I can skip. There's so many things that you can do with uh, with a dictionary, just like what you can do with, an, uh, with a list. Anyway, um, that concludes what a dictionary is and um, how we use one.